Hello and welcome to this introduction to using Grader with D2L. My name is Alan Prost and this is a short introduction on how to use this powerful tool. Before you can start using Grader, you need to set yourself up with an Edudentity identification and that's just a sign-in code so that uh, uh, D2L can recognize who you are and then you're going to download the uh, Desire uh, to Learn Assignment Grader application and you're going to open it up in your iPad. Edge Identity is simply an application that uh, allows D2L, Grader, and your iPad to all work together. So it's a powerful little tool that just breaks down some of those barriers between the different softwares. The first step is to create an Edge Identity identification uh, account. So go to this website right here and you'll be able to create your Edge Identity account. So once you uh, go to that website, you'll be able to see this Terms of Agreement. And you're basically going to go scrolling down to that page. You're going to sign in that you're greater than 13 years old, and you're going to accept that. And that'll take you to a place here where you can um, fill in your name, put in your email address. That's going to be your state email address. Create a password for yourself. And you're going to create a couple of security questions. So this is important because this is how um, your security so that you can access uh, D2L. Once you get your Edge Identity, then you can go to the Apple App Store and you can download the Desire to, to, Desire to Learn Assignment Grader tool. With this, you can install it. And then once it's installed, you can open it up and you'll have access to your grader tool. So when you first open up your uh, assignment grader tool, you'll have to actually input your uh, username and your ID from your Edge Identity um, account that you had just established. So that's why we need that Edge Identity stuff beforehand. Then you're going to see this uh, quick uh, um, window open up here, and it's going to be downloading your file folders from D2L into your iPad. So this is what it looks like once you've got all your assignments uh, loaded up into Grader. You can see here the uh, course name and you've got access to all the courses that you have um, presently or you have ever taught in D2L. And within that you're going to see that you've got right here each submission or each assignment that you've created in the assignment tools in D2L. So what you can see here, for example, in Module 3, Exercise 1, I've, each student has submitted this, what I'm calling a Litman table. From my progression bar here, you can see that all the students, there's 63 of 65, have submitted the assignment, and I've checked them all over and graded them. To show you what a grading looks like, I'm going to open up a file folder here called Documents, where 40 students have already uh, submitted their assignment, but I haven't graded them yet. So once I've opened up the assignment, uh, you can see each of the uh, students' names and the fact that I have not graded the assignment yet. Uh, some of the students are savvy enough to uh, put their photos into their uh, D2L um, uh, files, and so you'll be actually be able to see a picture of them if they have done that. The next step is just to actually click on the student's name, and you'll be able to access the uh, documents they've supplied with their assignment. So once you get uh, into the assignment that the student has submitted, there's a couple of things you want to be able to see. One is, of course, the uh, student's name that you're working with. The other is here is that uh, it's a Word document, so you can see what kind of document that they've submitted. It'll actually be uploaded, and you'll be able to scroll through the document. You can go up and down using your finger keys, or you can actually zoom in using your fingers just like we're used to with an iPad. Up here over in the upper right hand corner, you can progress through the different assignments by using the arrow keys here so you can go back and forth going from student to student. Now one of the really powerful things about uh, using Grader is that you can give this nice feedback to the students. You can type right in here um, and you'll be able to use your word processor just quickly to type in. A very powerful feature of Grader is the fact that you have these recording tools here and um, that's really useful because you can actually record audio or actually a video 
uh, quickly of your comments, preventing you from having to type them all out. So uh, just strictly hit the record button, and then you can actually hear what you've done by playing it back. Now, all the feedback that you're giving to your uh, students will be coming back to them as an attachment. So when they open up their D2L, they'll be able to see the audio files and the PDF files that you've created as an attachment, be able to look at them and review them. So these are some of the uh, options available to you when you're using uh, Grader uh, within the um, assignment tools, particularly with a Word document. Here I'm showing you another student's uh, submission where you can see the scoring tool that's going on here. And so you can actually put in a score. Now you have to set up what the score will be actually in D2L. You can also see that I've just left a quick comment for the student just thanking them for completing the assignment. Now the score here will come up as a, uh, as a vis visible um, score that they can see within D2L. Now that's a really interesting way and a uh, useful thing to be able to do with Word files. But one of the really cool things you can do within D2L is uh, work with PDFs. And when you work with PDFs, it gives you a lot more options. Now when you're working with PDF files, you need to have your students submit them into D2L as a PDF. So that's an important aspect to realize that you have to have the students submit a PDF file for you to be able to see a PDF file within uh, D2L. Or you can always um, convert it at your, yourself, but it would be very time consuming. So when the student submits a uh, PDF file, you can see that right over here on the left hand side. And you'll also notice that we get all these other additional tools here to be able to use within a PDF. So you can actually uh, write on the PDF and you can use the highlighter options on the PDF. You can leave specific notes on there. You can do underlining and crossing out some of these other options like that. Now, uh, right here, what I'm doing is I've shown you that I've marked up right directly on the patient's or the student's um, uh, file here and their PDF file. This was done while they were doing um, an assessment. So I was actually filling this out in real time while they were doing a competency. Now when you're grading an assignment like this, it doesn't have to be done in real time. But I thought that was a really unique application of using Grader is to uh, be able to fill these out and write on them in real time as we're doing a competency. So here's an example where I've actually uh, clicked on the uh, writing icon right here on the right hand side and this little menu up here pops up and you can change the color and the size, you can do some erasing and things but what that did it allowed me to actually write directly on the PDF here and um, mark off what scores or what I'm observing with the student as I'm grading them. So this could be done in real time or after the fact um, when you're just writing on a, any kind of PDF document. Now you don't actually have to write on the document. You could use the highlighter tool and that's what I've seen here preparing the equipment checklist and you can also just leave a little post-it note somewhere on there that they can click on and view at a later time. Now as you're viewing the document you can use your fingers to um, scroll in and out so that you can make it larger and smaller just as I showed you there and you can do that within Grader and what I'm showing you here is that I'd use that so that I can actually write really clearly right on the document so the students can see exactly what it was I was looking at and what I was marking up as I was doing their evaluation or at a later time if you're just reviewing a document that they've submitted. Now. Once you finish doing your write-ups and your marking up of the document, you come back to your basic grader view here and you can still leave uh, typewritten comments or audio comments just like with uh, any other kind of document. But with the PDF you can actually see that I've been able to write up right on the document so they can view exactly what your, um, your comments were or your feedback you have for them at a later time. They will see this of course as an attachment in their D2L uh, file folder. So this will be a separate document that they cannot alter and that uh, they will have access to once they open up their D2L assignments folder. Once I'm finished marking up uh, this particular student's uh, paper or assignment, I'm going to go up here and click on the next one so that I could view the next student's uh, assignment and it will automatically be uploaded and um, put in for me 
by, uh, by grater. It's very quick and fast. When I'm finished grading all my papers, I'm going to go back up here and click back to Users, and that'll take me back to that interface that I'm looking at so I can see all my students' names and the assignments that they've submitted. So in this view that you get to see once you've clicked back to your file folder, I can see what assignment I'm working on, and I can see the grades been given to uh, each student and that it's been uploaded uh, into D2L. This green arrow here is, means that it's been uploaded and synchronized into D2L. This one here has not yet been done, and that will occur once I've hit the synchronization button. So that's a really handy feature. Once you've gone through all your assignments, you can just quickly upgrade them, and the students will get their feedback forms in D2L, and they'll be able to see their scores. There are some different options and settings that uh, you can utilize when you're using Grader, as I'm showing up here just by calling this up. And one of the ones I want to uh, highlight right away is this auto submit feedback. I usually turn this into the off position so that it'll only upgrade the assignments and my, uh, my, my marking once I'm ready for it. So it doesn't do it every time I, I switch in and out of Grader so that I can take control and only update all my students files at the same time. That might be important to you. There's other some other options in here about hiding different types of courses and elements like that that you can play with a little bit once you get used to Grader. So I hope this has been instructive, this little uh, tutorial about how to get started using a Desire to Learn Assignment Grader tool. This has been a really powerful thing within our program. Um, we've used it for uh, just their general submissions on assignments, but also when competencies, when we're actually in the lab observing students as they're performing a competency. We fill the form out in real time, checking off the boxes, filling out our comments, uh, and uploading it and submitting it to them so 10 or 15 minutes after they've completed their competency they can see their scores and marks and see our feedback directly about their performance. So it's been a very useful tool for us. I hope it is for you. Thank you very much.